going to talk about, which is a relatively new rifle action to the custom rifle building scene. This action is made by Terminus, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. The action is called the Kratos. Now this action is a considerable advancement from any other action that's available for custom rifle building, basically using the 700 Remington footprint. In other words, the action will fit in stocks made for the 700 Remington. Now this provides tremendous area of improvement, this action. This action has Picatinny bases. Now these bases are screwed on and pinned to the action. This is a tremendous advantage to have some adjustment both forward and backward. The slots in these Picatinny bases. This is an extremely strong situation. There are many rings made by many many companies available to fit this type of base. It's basically the Weaver Weaver design base. This described as a Picatinny base. It has just a little bit wider base. The grooves are spaced just a little bit wider than the regular Weaver base itself. The rifle that I'm building or the majority of the rifles that I'll be building are going to be built off of this new action that I've added to our lineup and I have dropped another action from the scene because of the extremely long wait to be able to get one. This brings a rifle build, you know, way past time that I think should be reasonable for a rifle build. Now this action is made with a three lug three lug bolt. Now pay attention. You see the bolt comes up almost straight vertical out instead of up here. This is a much shorter bolt lift. This is an advantage. It's quicker. It gives a more even distribution of the locking area in the action. As of course Three lugs on the bolt head. It has an M16 style extractor, which is by far one of the very best extractors put on any action made at this point in time. Now, the bolt is fluted. It's not a very, very deep, aggressive flute. It's a fairly mild flute and it allows this bolt. It allows this bolt to ride back and forth quite quietly. It doesn't sound like a grinding motion or something like that when you work the bolt. Now, one of the greatest advantages also with this action is it's been reduced in several areas for weight. The wall here on the left hand side of the action has been cut away. An area right here in the back receiver has been cut away. Likewise, on the other side, this has been cut away. This reduces considerable weight, weight that is unnecessary. Another great advantage is, is that the bolt shroud encloses the firing pin. In other words, that means that through the firing pin, like as in a Remington, gas cannot come back through the firing pin, come into your face, and what out in the case of a punctured primer, an expanded case with a punctured primer, or by any other aspect that a primer would happen to be punctured. And you can see, I'll hold this, you see how low that bolt sets? This is truly a very well designed, well thought out action. It's got a nice sweep here in the bolt. It allows you to mount your scope quite low. It'll clear almost any type of scope that's made today, especially some of these latest rifle scopes that are made with an eyepiece 
that is considerably larger in diameter than what some of them have been in the past. Now, one of the biggest advantages here also is, is that this, this bolt, these three lugs, the lug on the very top, there's a lug that rides on the very top of the bolt, there's a lug on each side of the bottom, a lug that's on the top, and the lug that's on the right hand side, which is the loading port side of the action. Acts, both those lugs act as a guide rib to guide this bolt. Now you see, I'm sliding the bolt back and forth here. You see? And that guides the bolt extremely well, better than any other action design that I've handled at any point in time. And I've handled just about every, every type of action and some that people have never even heard of. This action is a step ahead of the rest. In fact, is Terminus claims that it screams, it, it just screams out loud the advantages. Well, it really does. It really does as far as I'm concerned. This is a very well thought out situation. This bolt, the entire bolt is made in one piece. That is the bolt handle, the bolt body, the bolt, the actual bolt knob screws on and basically is loctited in place on the bolt. It's got a nice, fairly large bolt handle that anybody for any situation can get a hold of. You can see, you can see what we've got here. All everything will be be set up with a trigger tech trigger. This trigger tech trigger. I've been using these now for about three years, and they're some of the very best triggers that they are. And they'll all be set at two and a half pounds. Now this trigger break breaks just like ice. And of course, as you can see, this has an integral recoil lug. Machined, there's no separate lug. Could possibly to do with bedding, could be just slightly different aligned each time it was taken apart or put together, everything is absolutely correct. Now most, most bolt releases on most actions, you have, to, you have to push down on them. Well, you don't push down on this one, you just simply push in. And the bolt goes right in, just as slick as grease. It works just as slick as grease. The whole aspect of this action just works extremely slick. I've just finished here today shooting a rifle with one of these terminus actions. It was a 270 Weatherby, which has become one of the very most popular uh, chamberings that I happen to offer because of its advantages. There's a tremendous selection in bullet weights, you know, mostly from 130 grain up to 160 grain, and I'm talking about real hunting type bullets and a lot of long range type bullets and a 270 Weatherby really almost within reasonable range when I consider that reasonable range to be maybe five six hundred yards 270 Weatherby will get it done with the proper bullet weights loaded up to the potential of the cartridge and I was loading this morning, happened to be 130 grain Barnes, Barnes X, you know, triple shocks. And I happened to be loading some, also, some tip triple shocks. And also loading some 129 grain long range triple shocks. Those are all boat tail type bullets. The rifle shot. The smallest groups that it shot was 260, was 266. The largest group that the that the rifle shot with three different bullets and several different loads with the same primer, the same cases, everything between a half inch and as small as 266 thousands. And and this pretty much speaks for itself. Aside from the fact that I was using the very best barrels that I think are made, made by by heart, 
Jim Hart and the crew, they just simply make the best barrels there are. And I did something extra here today. A few days ago I shot this rifle and I only shot seven rounds through it to check where I might load this, this rifle with 129 grain bullets. And I settled on a load. I only shot seven rounds through it. When I was done, I brushed the, the barrel with, a, with a, a bronze brush with Vortec copper eliminator solvent on it. I brushed it three strokes. I came right back with a, with a wetted patch of the same solvent, pushed that through the bore, came back with a dry patch, and I bore scoped the barrel. There was absolutely, positively no trace of copper went from end to end in this 270 heart barrel. Absolutely none. None on the throat, nowhere on the lands, nowhere in the grooves, nowhere. And today, I shot this rifle 20 shots here this morning. And I did the same exact thing. I cleaned the barrel the same exact way. I bore scoped the barrel again. 20 rounds. And about three quarters of the way up the barrel, there was just a faint little, in a, in a place or two, just a little tiny bit of copper that was just barely starting to show anywhere. And after I did that, I came back with a wetted patch of the solvent, ran it through the barrel, let it set for about 25 minutes, and I came back with two dry patches, and I wiped the barrel, and I rebore scoped the barrel, and the barrel had absolutely no copper left in it. That was how simple it was to clean this heart barrel. Probably the most trouble-free barrel that I've ever seen in my lifetime of building custom rifles. And this is, as I say, this is going to be the major action that I'm going to be building rifles on. I'm going to continue to build rifles using defiance actions, specific areas. This action is also available left-handed. It's also available in a short action, both right and left hand, just as the defiance actions are. For a number of years I built rifles on Borden actions. They are very good actions, but I think this is a considerable improvement. It just simply works better. It's a better thought out, thoroughly engineered from every aspect to give you all the advantages possible. And this short bolt lift with the three lugs is an advantage the way that it works. The anti-bind type of a bolt with two lugs guiding the entire length of the raceway and the receiver. It just works extremely, extremely well. And, of course, on the website, you're going to see that I'm offering it in a Macmillan fiberglass stock, and I'm offering it in a laminated, a laminated stock with choice of colors that is a, that is a, a, a thumb hole stock. This is a little bit less expensive type of a stock. This is how this is we, we've got we've got these various offerings, various aspects, and you know, as a rule, the rifle, if you buy a complete rifle scoped, it's going to be scoped with a VX5 HD 2 to 10. The reason I say that, you get up to any higher power, the image quality, the clarity of the scope almost always suffers with almost anybody's rifle scope. The 2 to 10 Leopold that I'm talking about is by far one of the very sharpest scopes made by Leopold or anybody else in the optics business. It's just a very, very good scope. It works very well. It has a CDS system and the scope, you know, has, has a, a duplex reticle. It's got a matte, you know, a matte finish. It's not an overly big scope. It has a 30 millimeter tube, 42 millimeter objective. It's as big a scope as anybody needs on any rifle to hunt anywhere in the world with enough power. 
on the high end and a low enough power on the low end to be hunting in fairly close close area and very low light and one thing or another turn down on two power it's just on every power as a matter of fact it's out of this world clear and sharp there's just nothing that I see that's any better so there you have it these are some this is one of the, the biggest changes here at Randy's custom rifles this new very well thought out terminus action you know the terminus kratos <laughs>